What's up guys, it's Chris from Culture Shock and today we have got another Disney, a live action, a fan cast. Tangled is a fantastic Disney film. It brought out a lot of the things that we used to look for in the princess films with a kind of real modern flair. It had great music, it had great characters, it had everything you want. But I definitely wouldn't rule out Disney trying to remake it in live action sometime in the next, you know, 10 years or so. So I carefully looked and chose actors I think should play each of the roles in any live action version. First, obviously, you need Rapunzel. Now, Rapunzel's meant to be this kind of young girl in the film, but the main thing is someone who could pull off this kind of 18 to 20 year old role even though they're probably quite a bit older. And I think, honestly, Blake Lively is a fantastic choice for it. Not only does she look quite a bit like Rapunzel does in the film, but she's also got this great singing ability, she's got fairly huge star power nowadays, and she's such a simple, wonderful, fun-loving character. However, if you're going to put Blake Lively as Rapunzel, you're going to need the perfect Flynn Rider, and so... We want Ryan Reynolds! Apart from Green Lantern, which we've all tried to erase from our minds, this husband-wife real-life couple have never worked together on film, I think. But it would be fantastic. You think of Ryan Reynolds, you don't exactly think of someone who could be a Disney prince. He's kind of more wild, his roles in like Deadpool, very strange and interesting and stuff. But Flynn Rider isn't exactly your typical Disney prince either. Reynolds is one of the most hilarious characters around, he would definitely be able to pull off that smolder thing that Flynn Rider tries to do. And more than anything else, it would just be really funny because they're actually husband and wife and they would have great chemistry as a pair. Plus, imagine being their kid if they're actually a Disney prince and princess together. Oh. After those two, you need to cast Mother Gothel. Ooh. Creepy, scary, overbearing mother figure who wants power and likes to lie a lot. Hmm. Sounds to me like you need Cersei Lannister. Lena Hetty would be fantastic at this role. She's proved not just in Game of Thrones, but in plenty of other positions that she can play very scary women. Have you ever seen Dread? Oh dear. Oh dear, she was terrifying. It takes a special kind of actress to pull off that kind of crazy, and Lena Hetty is definitely it. Now, while those are the main three characters, there's a few others that I kind of want to cast because it's just fun. The Stabbington brothers have a surprisingly big role in the film. I didn't even think about it that much until I looked down the cast list because they don't say a lot, really. But that just means you need actors who can pull off a lot of action without saying a lot. So I think number one, Jason Statham. Number two, Vin Diesel. Working fantastically well together in the Fast and Furious films, I think Vin Diesel and Jason Statham have this kind of chemistry, almost where they are like brothers in those films, but brothers that hate each other, and the Stabagda brothers are a bit like that, and, you know, they're just kind of dumb, but they're really angry. Yeah. Now, I think with Tangled, you have the problem in that Maximus, the horse, is kind of hard. I don't think you can really do enough with the horse to really be as much of a character as Maximus was animated. So I think it would be interesting to kind of expand the guard captain role because he owned Maximus and then Maximus became sympathetic to Flynn Rider. So what if the guard captain became a bit more sympathetic to Flynn Rider and helped him out a bit more? That could be interesting. And I think Miguel Ferrer could play that role really well in live action. This is the guy who played Owen Granger in NCIS Los Angeles. And in the show, he's one of the kind of leading figures within that organization. He's brilliant. He brings a lot of comedy through his reactions, as opposed to saying anything himself. Finally, I want to cast the hooked-handed thug in the dirty bar where they're singing I Have a Dream. Because it's, it's just, I just had a really fun idea for it. I'd love to see John C. Riley play that role because, yeah, nice. He's a really nice guy, but he seems like a villain. Remind you of Reggit Ralph at all? And that is all, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Until next time, I've been Chris from Culture Shock, and I will see you later.